everyone, welcome to the channel, thank you for watching the video. We're going to be looking at automatic and manual transmission and what difference this has. So I'm currently in a automatic version of this vehicle, uh, the Ferrari. It's the same vehicle we used for previous tests, it's the same circuit, it's a Zuka, uh, East Course. And this is just a look at how it looks um, from bumper cam, automatic transmission, it's quite laggy. If you can hear some gentle tap in the background, apologies if I'm just using dual shot controller as opposed to us doing all the pedals like some of you may be using. Um, but this is mainly to demonstrate the difference of automatic and manual car. Now, you can probably see the fact the car is all over the place, you know, it's trying to point in the direction. There's a lot of fighting for control. Um, again, we've just lost it there a second ago. Um, but this is to highlight difference of automatic and we're going to do two laps of this just to make it as fair as possible and show the lap times. Now that was a 59.9 so just under a minute just showing the limit. Now um, again a lot later braking distance automatic feel. I feel that if you don't get it right the car leans everywhere. Now I'm trying to force the car to go into the uh, apex inside the corner and again with automatic it just doesn't want to do that. As soon as you hit it the car gets spat out to the other side and it should do. Now if you brake too late there's a lot of slide um, I feel like there's not really much control. Now I've used automatic quite a fair bit and automatic has been my go to and to be honest it's good but this debate sparked by uh, a social media post that was um, back a couple of weeks ago and there was a lot of people that played GT Sport that got involved and was like, do you know what? We're not really happy with this. You know, like some most people use manual as opposed to automatic. Does it really matter? Surely it's something you'll be able to work with. Now, as long as you can use them well enough, then they'll have a good race. Should it really make a difference? Well, Apparently so. There's a lot of there's a lot of there's a, some people very opinionated, and it kind of got me intrigued into this. Um, again, I'm kind of waffling on a little bit, and I was doing so much to try and do a couple of laps and get some decent times. But you can see straight away, the car is just not generally happy, and I've lost the chance of even getting that time. There. So we're looking at 58.366 at the moment. The first lap doesn't count, that was just a warm up for me, but that was 2, 3, and 4. That's kind of the times that we're looking at. Okay, so what we're going to do is just to try and put some theory to the test, is we're going to go ahead now and we're going to change to. Yeah, see, that's the best time there 58, 3, 6, 6. So what we're going to do is we're now going to go and change this to manual and again we're going to do three laps or to make it even fair now we've done we've completed four four laps and just find out does it really make a difference with your laptops does it feel different to drive does it give you that sense of control that you're probably missing we're about to find out we're about to find out i mean the car is stuck in a lot more um, again, it takes a bit of getting used to this. Um, again, I'm more of an automatic person. I'm not quite getting the gears right straight away. Then again, please don't move. This is one of the best. You can leave it. You can really try and clever and force the car to and brake a lot later than we do now. Even though we had that that slip earlier, we've gone a bit wide there. You know, we've kind of got that control still. You know, we've kind of just dropping down the gear, getting that power. A bit too much power in some cases. I've got there probably shaking the edge right now. But I'm trying to illustrate a point. I'm not purposely going off the course for a reason, I'm not purposely trying to make things difficult. I'm genuinely trying to prove which one is easier to, uh, to use really. Now, I'm probably not the best of races, I'm probably average when I've done it on the track. Yes, can I you know, go from A to B? You know, if 
something like that, yes. I wouldn't say I'm next Lewis Hamilton or anything like that by far. But again, for me it's getting used to me. Okay, there's a lot of slip-ups in here, I do apologise. Um, I'm just trying to get a good lap time in here for you. Just to show that actually... Now, I might go silent on this next lap time. I've got to try and try to do it. For some strange reason, the car's just not the one. It's not as good as it was before for me. Um, I'm not sure what that is. I'm really wide there. I need to scrap that map. That's going really bad. I'm not quite sure what's happened there. Again, this is a new bumper cam. Uh, sorry, a new camera angle for me. I used to use bumper. And then I've gone to work on the bonnet to try and get a feel for the new car. Um, so yeah, let's just see what happens here. Bad, still bad, still quite bad. Right, loop it into control. Oh, a little bit easier. Get the feel for it now. Get the feel for it. I'm starting to gain a bit of momentum on the car. I'm starting to get a bit of pace here now. I'm starting to get into the groove. Get some decent momentum. So you know, dropping the gears quickly enough, you can kind of just get that car in. Feel for it. And that was a long BR stretching for so I'm sorry for that, I'm not really sort of focused on that as much as I should be. But the whole idea now is to try and get the beams done. And the car hasn't got any control. Uh, if you get it right, it's not going to be much I mean, this might even be a quick lap time before. If it is, I'll be absolutely confused because. That's our four laps done. Okay. Now let's go back and compare the times if we can. Okay. We were just under we were just about 58 seconds somewhat. So we shaved about a second off the time. Now, admittedly, yeah, that was not the best skill there. But straight away, you can see that on the fourth lap, things started to improve. Okay. If we look at the lap times above there, yeah, that was a very bad lap, lap times. Shocking. Okay. But, if you look at lap 3 and lap 4, with a manual transmission, look, what, look at what's happened. Okay, first time out, this is kind, these sort of first two laps is what you expect when you first try out manual. Okay, now if you look at these two, laps 3 and laps 4, this is when you start to get the feel for it. Okay, this is when you get the feel of the gearing and practicing and getting used to which type of corner is best for which gear and the angle. Now, it is different per car and per different specification of car. There will be some variations. But, when you look at the very beginning, when we first tried manual on lap one, we came in at a 59.8. We're now at a 57.8. We've pretty much shaved off two seconds a lap just by getting the feel of manual transmission. With automatic, I don't think we'll get anywhere closer to this time. I think we'll be stuck over the 58 and a half mark, maybe even higher, and we probably won't get down much lower. Okay, this is a pretty much uncut version. There's no editing trickery involved at all. This is me trying to show 
my first attempt with manual and also show what effect it has. And the answer to that is, it's going to drop your lap time significantly. When you get used to where the braking points are, the braking zones and what sort of markers to look out for on the track and gears you've got to be in for the corners, you can really shrink this time down. Okay, I reckon personally that you can easily lose another second, maybe potentially get that down to 56 seconds with a bit of fine tuning quite easily just for the power of manual. Hopefully, that's helped explain the difference between the two. Hopefully that's helped you make a decision as to which one you want. If you want the faster lap times and you want to go from being 7th or 8th on the, on the uh, leaderboard to going up into the top 5, the top 4, even the top 3, manual is going to have to be your answer for this. Automatic will help you so much, but automatic kind of dubs down and plays down a lot of the dynamics. Hopefully this has been of help. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.